G'day everybody, it's me again, um, testing out the GoPro in the workshop and uh, unpackaging the care package that came. Um, turn the lights on here. This area is absolutely trashed. Yeah, there's still stuff here that was here six months ago, eight months ago now, but I will be tidying up out here because I've uh, got some goodies. Um, some really, really nice goodies at that. Um, check out these caps. I mean, I cannot believe the size of these things. And metal can, oil filled. Bosch MP Germany. 2.5 kV, 40 microfarad. Very nice. And there's about 16 of those. Um, don't know how I'm going to... This is going to make a freaking mess of packaging. I should save some of this. It's good. Um, egg cartons. I'm not sure if it was uh, Ed or uh, the other guy who packed these. I think Ed must have repacked them for me. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. Repacked them into the two boxes. I am not going to touch those output terminals. That could be very... Mm, what would you say? Nasty if, if there was still some charge in that. <laughs> to say the least. To say the very, very least. Um, so many giant capacitors. Don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, I suppose... I should just empty one of these boxes first and then use the other box as a rubbish box. Man, so many capacitors, I'm not going to know what to do with them. Yeah, these are really nice, they're in really good nick. A little bit of flash over, maybe. It does actually appear that the metal can is actually ground. That's going to be interesting. They're definitely going to have to go into a sealed, um, completely isolated container. So maybe my, uh, back to my idea of the wooden box with the Perspex box inside it, um, for both strength and what I would say would be the diode board and the resistors. Possibly the contactor. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. That might be the contactor. Yeah, that's the neon light to say we're charged. That's the discharge contactor, the safety contactor. Oh god, they just keep coming. Oh, I know there's 16 of them, but... Man. Man. They're going to make one hell of a cat bank. This is not going to be fun. Well, it's going to be fun, but I should say it's not going to be fun near. This is going to be like danger time fun oh so much packing like i said that is so so dangerous like that could be that could be so charged not funny not funny really really not funny I might with a positive really not funny Yeah, that's a good idea, that is. That is a good idea. Oh my god, well, I remember how loud the bangs were coming off the little ones, and they're 400 volts. These are 2,500 volts. Um, I think there's almost as much joules in one of them as there is in four of them because of the voltage. I have to double check that calculation, but yeah. Yo, continue the tearing into. 
Actually, no, this is one. Like I said, I'll have to do a bit of a better video on all this because I know there's some parts and bits and pieces in here which are very new to me. I wouldn't have used them before. So much cardboard. So much packing. Yeah, this is the well this is the goodies pile. <laughs> oh Mr. Jones. Uh-huh. Oh my god. These are all good for 500, 600 volt AC snubber networks. Oh man, that, I think that could be gate driving everything. I'm going to have to look into that. This came out of one of those uh, giant uh, VFDs that Ed tore down. Oh my god, are they gate drive transformers? If they are, that could solve a lot of issues for me. DC minus, DC minus, DC plus, DC plus. Fuck me, look at them snubbers. Either that or that. That's almost enough caps to make a fucking induction heater right there. An actual resonant tank style one. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for them to arrive. Was waiting for them to arrive. I'm going to cut that entire end off. And use that entire end. Hopefully as some kind of flyback driver. Even if it means I've got to desolder them all one by one. I don't mind at all. snubbers on there. Oh, they're using electrolytics. Look like the electrolytics are being used as snubbers. Could be wrong. It looks that way. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a better video on all this stuff after the unboxing. Much better. Ah! Ah! Josh wanted a couple of those. Yep, you're going to be a lucky boy, Josh. What's this? Misuse of product may cause explosion and personal injury. I'm interested already. Ah, it's pressure switch. Pressure gauge. Ah, pressure gauge. Nice. Very nice. Zero to 60. That would be... Kind of a bit low for the uh, air cannon tank, but I'm sure there's something that can be figured out to be done with them. Definitely something that can be figured out. Ah, they might be good for oil pressure gauges, for machines, turbines, whatnot. Very nice. Very nice. Man, I'm going to have to put all this back in the box so I don't lose it. Oh, you nasty man. <laughs> you fucking nasty man. I know what you want me to do with those too. <laughs> oh yeah. I know exactly what to do with that. Exactly. <laughs> fucking kid in a candy store. Oh, oh. Yes, yes. The replacement for the one that I uh, zapped. Nice. IGBT brick. Oh man. Such kid in candy store right now. Such kid in candy store. Oh, map sensor. Yes, 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 yes. That's the uh, map sensor off that day, I think it was. I've uh, been looking for one of these to uh, actually fuel inject a little Chonda motor. In fact, that little Chonda motor right there, I wanted to fuel inject, so map sensor oh 
Oh my god. Oh, temp controller. Yeah, looks that way. Something for me, another thing for me to figure out how it works. The thermostat on off power. Oh, I've got an idea of what to do with that too. Hmm. I do have an idea of what to do with that. Ah, it's gonna keep you busy for months. Ah, oh, more thermostats. Ha. Huh. I did need one of these for one of my little kits so I could cool some water. Um, me and Josh Wilkes were talking the other day about water cooling some uh, IGBTs, so that will come in so handy it's not funny. Oh no, this is this is just that. All right, yeah, yeah, that's a fucking big SCR. Or I think Ed said these came from the railway. I'm not sure, but uh, wait, where is it over here? I've got some of those stud ones that you guys seen the other day, which I'm going to use to repair this charger. This place wasn't so trashed. Actually, now I've got them big bastards. I'll use one of these PowerX bricks to repair the charger. That's a full, um, there's a bridge rectifier in that, but it's silicon controlled, so two-way should be enough for what I'm doing. But that's just, that's just incredible. That's fucking bolt that to a fucking massive bus bar massive bus bar oh my god yeah yeah someone's going to be back on the electronics for the next six months again aren't they oh it's better than drinking too much booze ah the injector yes good shot good shot yes that's the other part that i need for my uh, fuel injected motor it's another uh thermostat Another SCR, obviously. I can use them as a pair. Might be able to rectify some three phase with them and do something nasty. Don't know. I think we looked up the numbers on these and we, uh, I think we found out they're about 900 volts and 500 amps, something crazy like that. It's one hell of a diode, isn't it? Now this one, I've got. I probably have to put inside the house. It's a uh, PLC controller. I'm sure there's inputs and outputs on that, so I'm just going to have to learn. It is DIN mounted. Would look nice on the rail out here, but uh, unfortunately, uh, it might get ruined. So that one's going to have to go straight into the house. Put that under my phone so I don't forget. That would be a serial cable for the same. To talk to it. Ah, now this is the one that I was interested in. This is something really fancy. If I can get... Oh, it's got an... Aha! Aha, 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 aha. This one's really interesting because it's a little LCD touch panel which I may actually be able to use to control lighting and solar in the house. I don't know yet, but that's another one that has to go in the house because I don't want it to get ruined. Is that, that kind of stuff in the weather won't last five seconds. The rest of this stuff is kind of solid state and, and, and not really too bothered by. <laughs> Stickers. Nice. Refrigerant stickers. <laughs> oh, they look a little clear. Ah, they're like little mounting pads. Man, it's all too good. Feeling spoiled. Feeling very spoiled. Feeling very spoiled. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know what that is. Oh shit. That is the high voltage transformer for everything. Right. 
Fucking thank fuck I got all that unboxed. Where do I start? 